Welcome back to another tutorial of GeoPackage in the GIS Word Academy. In this short video, I'm gonna tell you what is value relation, how to find a list of unique values in a table, and finally, I wanna explain how to transfer data from non-special table to another non-special table. If you are excited, let's get started. So. According to our previous tutorial, OSM building, OSM building attribute. These two tables are connected to each other. So just we can take a look at the table. So we have a building GML. Maybe I can duck it somewhere. So this one with the building GML ID as a foreign key is connected to the OSM building. Also, I can uh, dot, 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 dot it, duck it. Okay, so you can see that here is the GML ID. This one is connected to the building GML ID primary key and foreign key. So in this tutorial, now we should, uh, now I wanna, okay, so this is a detached. I wanna click on it. And if it is not correct, I wanna change it maybe to the apartments or I wanna change it to the garage or such a things. Or if it is a yes, I want to maybe change it to the apartment. So the usage of the building, it is not correct. So instead of typing something and such a things, I want to have a list of list of keys and values in a table. So uh, definitely most of you and also in our previous tutorial, you have already become familiar with a value map, but I don't like it. So uh, in general, I don't like to work with the CSV or such a informations. I want to create my database and everything should come from my database, not other things. Yeah. Okay. So definitely you have already become familiar with the value maps, value and descriptions, but now we want to start and talking about value relations. So this is, so definitely you have a table. It has a key and value. Everything is connected to the second table. This is the aim of this uh, uh, video. And uh, the second part, or maybe we can say the first and the second will be the, how can I understand that how many unique value I have in this table? So, because I don't want it to see them. Maybe you can say that, okay, I can see it in the field calculator. I can go there and then see the, all the uniques, but I need them as a table. Okay, maybe we can solve it right now. It's really easy just, I think it is categorizing or yeah, statistics by category. Statistic by category. So it is a really easy. So based on a field, I want to say the usage and all the statistics things should be done on the usage field. Just after that, I want to say, okay, so you can see that one processing uh, algorithm has already been finished. Maybe we can take a look at the table. What are the results so here here you can see that here it's our usage and also here it's a count so house yes apartment garage detached and so on uh okay so we have our this table but definitely we, we don't want to use it in our database so definitely we should first of all design something okay i will go to my table new table a tree beaut form value okay then uh, i want to add a new field so it definitely it is a key and i i always try to use it as a string key and value also the value also should be the uh text uh, I, I think i told yes most of them it should be a text because the key maybe we, we want to use underline or such a things in it and the value is uh, a description yeah it's a description so i don't give any length to that but definitely for the key i will definitely choose maybe two five six but i think 128 also it, it should be more than enough but anyway we will change it to this value so definitely it is a no geometry in the future, in our next tutorials, we will complete it. We want to say that, okay, we will have the other things for the filtering. And when we want to talk about the filtering strategies, I will tell you, for example, we can add easily a new column as a feature type. And then you can, instead of creating the value maps for all of them, for example, this is the building, this is the land parcel, you can put all of them in one table. Yeah, but it's for the future, not now.
Okay, I have my attribute form value, so I will add it to the OSM attribute. Nice. Okay, so then again, I will go to the statistics because we want to copy paste it. I think I have already be master of it right now. So I will create a one key column. I will change it to the text two, five, six, and then I will copy all of the usages in the key column. Great. And yes, and yes. Perfect. So here we have our keys. It's good. So after that, oh, sorry, I forgot to copy all of the informations. So where is my copy? It should be not this uh, one. So I will select all of them. And after that, I should copy them. Great. Then I will back to attribute form value. I will open it and activate the editing mode and also paste it. So here you can see that the keys are here. And also I should do something which I don't really like it. But anyway, so okay so here you can see that the key and values are the same so the value and descriptions in the value map a lot of people are doing it such a things but you know that i'm not a fan of it okay i'm not a fan of such a works because always the key should be a the unique values with the combination of the numbers and don't using any special characters for example uh, in the German language or definitely in other languages we have some specific characters or yes so we shouldn't use them everything should be like this uh, and if you remember we have already also correct a lot of them so next tutorial we will talk about it how we can what is the rules and what are the the rules and regulations of the key values so just think about all these things should be good to the postgresql and such and all such a things so definitely they should be a uh, rules beside this so we will talk about it later but i'm telling you that this is not correct just for this tutorial i'm telling it to you that Yes, and also keys, I'm telling you, you shouldn't use any space or you shouldn't use any special characters, forward slash back slash or curly braces or anything else, you shouldn't use it in the key. But value, you can do whatever you want, exactly same as the descriptions in the value map. But anyway, we will talk about it. It's it's now super easy. Attribute form where it is easy. Just I will jump to the OSM building attribute. And also I will go to the usage. I will change to the value relation, layer, attribute for value, key value, and also here. Uh, also in the attribute form value, you can create another new column as a description. So if you want to describe something, if you say that, okay, my value, it's not complete. So you need to add more description to that. So you can also have it. And after that, when you hover on your value, you can see it. Then also we can give the not all of value. So we have a lot of things to do with these filter expressions. We will talk about it also later. Apply. Okay, great. Maybe we can test it is working or not. Activate editing mode. I will go to the yes. Yes, it is not correct. I will change it to the apartment. Yeah, perfect. Save. You see that it works perfectly. And uh, yes, maybe if we want to change it, maybe I can also change this one. What happens? Activate editing mode. Okay. And then after that, maybe I can change it to, for example, that is one message commercial. Yes. And then save it. Yes, you can see that this building has the commercial value. Perfect. Uh, I think it's enough for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will say that how we can give the rules and regulations to the keys and we will talk about such a thing. And again, thanks a lot for all your attentions. See you all in the next video. Bye.